Hey yo, what's goody all my beautiful people out there in the tube of the U with your boy J Nuck over here at Hookanucka and today I got a brand new review for all of you. All right, so what's goody all my beautiful people? As you know from the title of the video, today we are reviewing Tangier's Raspberry. Bang, bang, bang. And as you'll notice today, it is a C line, okay? What does that mean? Now C, from my understanding, Frank broke this down to me. A C is gonna indicate that it's a nor. If it had an M on there, it would indicate that it is a Burkuk. And if it has a V on there, that's going to be Burley. Now that's something I didn't know, I wasn't quite sure on, but thank you, Frank, for breaking that down for me and helping me understand what these letters mean on the Tangiers packages. Now before we get into the scent of this Tangiers Raspberry, I am smoking out of my Regal Hookah. Uh, it is equipped with a Titan tray. I really love these trays. I like how they combine the Tribal and the Versace. Versace, Versace, Medusa. Look on them. Uh, it's just a really beautiful tray. I am using uh, the Liberty Fudge Bowl as well, and I'm using two coconut uh, charcoal flare coals. I went blank there for a second. And uh, I'm using two standard sheets of aluminum foil, shiny side down. So let's go ahead and get on into the scent of the tobacco. Now to me, I'm picking up like a strawberry Pop-Tart or like a fruity Pop-Tart. It's pretty crazy. I've smelled this scent in the past with other Fruity Tangiers flavors. So I don't know if it's the combination of like that Tangiers essence mixed with like a fruity essence and that's why I'm picking that up. But I, I feel like I've, I've picked up this scent in other flavors. But you're definitely picking up some sort of a raspberry. I feel like it's a dark raspberry at that. So with all that being said, let's go ahead and see how that scent translates into the smoke. <coughs> so yeah, I'm definitely picking up a raspberry and of course that Tangier's essence but this raspberry has an interesting interpretation of it. I feel like it's more of a dark raspberry. Now when I say that, don't think blackberries. It's definitely a raspberry we're tasting here, but it's a darker note. Um, it's It's got a very sexy appeal to it. Um, it's weird, that's the best way I can explain it. It's not like a bright, crisp, summery raspberry, but this is more of a dark raspberry. Something you may find in like a chocolate, a raspberry uh, filled chocolate, right? That's kind of what I'm picking up. Now, I'm not picking up chocolate notes, but just that raspberry, if you isolate it, that's what I'm picking up. So that's where it's getting that sexiness from. And uh, it doesn't really come off as a natural raspberry to me personally. I mean, there's a bit of sweetness to it. Yeah, just a tiny bit of sweetness, nothing crazy, but that's what I'm picking up. So take that for what it's worth. Now let's go ahead and take a look at some of those Tangier's clouds, shall we? So we got some nice thick white puffy clouds. I'm sure you guys can do a lot better. You know how I am with Tangier's. It's already hitting my lungs, but I'm doing it for you guys. Uh, this is not normally something I smoke on its own. I would much prefer uh, some FML mixed in there to kind of tamper it down a little bit. It is a little bit too drastic for my lungs, but if you're used to Tangiers, you're not gonna have any problem with this. This is your typical Nor, so you'll be fine. Evaluating strictly the flavor though, this is a very bold flavor. It's definitely not gonna get overpowered if you mix it, but it does work as a standalone flavor. Uh, the flavor is definitely raspberry, you know that. But like I said, it's gonna be that darker raspberry, that sexy raspberry. 
So keep that in mind uh, if you do decide to purchase this or mix it. Kind of understand what you're going to get with this. So uh, if this is something you guys and girls are interested in, head on over to 5 Big shout out to Alex and Mary, always holding it down for your boy. And if you want to get 15% off of anything on the site that's not already on sale, type in my discount code, JNUC, and I will hook you up. Thank me later. But anyhow, that's going to wrap up the review. I hope this answered some questions, or if you were on the fence about getting this, maybe this is going to help you nudge your way towards ordering it, or maybe not. I'm not sure. Different strokes for different folks. But like I said, the flavor is definitely awesome. If you're not a big primary Tangier smoker, you're definitely going to want to mix this, being that it's Nor, uh, especially if it was Burkook, and maybe even with the, uh, or especially if it was Burley, and maybe even if it's the Burkook just to kind of even out the playing field for your lungs so it's not too much for you to handle. It's definitely gonna be a higher nicotine content the higher up you go on levels. So uh, for those of you that don't know, Burkook's gonna be the bottom level, it's gonna be the weaker ones, of the or the weaker of the three, and you're gonna have your Nor, and then you're gonna have your Burley. So keep that in mind when you're ordering Tangiers. Other than that, that's gonna wrap up the review. I hope you all enjoyed it. Leave your questions below, or your comments or concerns, and I'll try to answer any of the questions that are down there as soon as possible, and I'll take you out properly. So thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to give this a thumbs up, and please feel free to share it with all of your friends. Deuces. <clears throat>